All right, so I've been meaning to make this video for about a month now, but Roblox wouldn't let me record any videos on Xbox. And I wasn't really in the mood of doing it on PC or the phone because, well, the phone's kind of lazy. And then the PC, it's just kind of too much work. I'm not used to it. But today in this video, we're talking about what the point is in Roblox Gears. Now, to do this video, we have to go back to the star of Roblox, which was in 2006 in Roblox headquarters. So basically, in Roblox headquarters, this is where most of the gear appeared at first. And the only gear you could actually use at the time was a paintball, a sword, a rocket, a slingshot, bouncy balls, some wall thingy, and a bomb. So yeah, these were the only gears you could actually use at the time, but, you know, they're still fun to use, at least when Roblox first released. So then now that you got those gears down, now you can know that there was a lot, lot more gears made later on. So then now we're going to move on to Catalog Heaven. So then there's Catalog Heaven, made in 2013. Now Catalog Heaven was basically like a free admin game, kinda. Except you could use every single gear you want, besides from the Elite Gears and the VIP Gears. And that was really it. All you did is just pick some gears, kill some people, then that's really all you did in there. Now out of all the Roblox games that are out right now, this is probably the only game you can actually use classic gears in. Since most other games already have custom gears in them, or just custom animations for their custom weapons they have in that in those games. Oh yeah, and a side note that's about Roblox gears. Some people think that you should come just showcase items or showcase weapons. Cause while well, gears aren't really allowed to be used in any Roblox games besides from Call of Kevin and whatever else game actually shows gears. So now that we talked about Call of Kevin, we can move on to the next game again, which would be Murder Mystery 2 for some reason. I'll explain it later. Now Murder Mystery 2, technically they use gears, but they don't really use them correctly. They're scripted for the game. So in Murder Mystery 2, there's Innocent Sheriff for Murder. We're only going to talk about Sheriff for Murder and their weapons specifically. So you have the Sheriff, which just shoots the murder, and that's it. And you can tell they use the uh, revolver gear, but it's just, you know, you can reskin it a few times. You can even see it in the corner. And, you know, all you do with the revolver is just, you shoot the murder, which I clearly failed to, and that's it, you win. Now, not to be confused, we're on the murder now, and if you don't know the murder, they use Bombo's survival knife from the shop, which only costs 100 Robux. And usually, how Bombo's survival knife is actually supposed to work is just, it has a green bar, you stab someone with it, they have a death counter, well, not death, damage counter, and then, well, that's really it. In Mirror Mystery, it's used kind of differently. The only, really, the only difference is that you can throw a knife. That's really the only difference with the knife in Mirror Mystery besides from the real gear. So then we go back to the question, what's the point of Roblox gears anymore? In my opinion, I think they could be used still, but at the same time couldn't, because, well, some Roblox events, or at least some new ones, use some gear but not really a lot. And the last time Roblox actually created a gear was back in 2020 in the Roblox egg hunt in 2020. So then you can comment in the video if you want to, but if you think that Roblox gear should stay in or not. 